Go. Hello, whoever is watching this. This is the Ninjago City Garden set. Uh, it is the biggest set I've ever built. Um, it is uh, 5,000 and something pieces. I'm blanking on the number. Um, Theo, do you remember? Okay. Um, so this is it all separated into pieces. This is what it will look like once I put it together. That is the big thing. Uh, some things I want to point out from this instruction actually are uh, here. Uh, they give you like lots of names and stuff so you know like what you're looking at. And here is the official Ninjago alphabet. So in, mo in lots of signs all over this place, if you want, you could decode the thing. So maybe I'll put some extra attention on some of the signs if you want to look at them, if they're good enough to see. So yeah, I'll start showing you the set piece by piece. Uh, this, this is the guy that you might buy this set to get. He is the exclusive Golden Woo. He's got his little staff, the 10th anniversary of Ninjago. This guy is the biggest Ninjago set to date, so um, obviously that has to come on an important occasion, and that occasion is the 10th anniversary. The first uh, episode of the pilot came out on January 14th, yeah, on January 14th to then 2011. So on Jan so January 14th, 2021 was both the 10th anniversary of Ninjago and the and, and the and, and the um when this set was released to VIPs. Uh fun fact, once it was released to VIPs on January 14th, that's like an elite club of Lego members if you really like Lego. Um then uh, it was on back order by 5 a.m. in the morning. That is crazy. So obviously people want this set. I got all big brained, bought this the moment it came out, and saved it till the birthday, and until my birthday, so it's finally built, ready to show. So here, this is like the little first level. This is the base, oh, one, oh, bags one to five. Here's Jay and Nia, they're going on a date. They have been shipped since season one, so here's a little flower that Jay has. Uh, behind here, you can see there's a little table. Um, here, you can also see this is a little smuggler's area for this guy's shop. Uh, that is Ronan's pawn shop. We will talk about that later. Here's a little island with a bonsai tree, a little hat that's supposed to be a rock, and a little bush. Here, there's actually a little pipeline for uh, Ninjago City. Under these things, already built, there's more pipeline. And um, here there's a little bit of water coming out. Um, and as you can probably see with this, this is also the set, I think, with the most water tiles of any set. So there's that. So next, uh, this little soup thing. Um, and there's a little thing that says food, I think. Um, little hand washing station or sink and then there's the little bowls and stuff. Um, this is probably the least exciting thing we got. Um, this little guy goes right here. And yeah, you just slip them on like that. So next we got Ronan's Pawn Shop. Um, here you can see Ronan. I kept the minifigures in their places. He is admiring his fan, his, uh, uh, Fang Blade Trophy, that is of great importance in Season 1. Um, and he has a little trap door here that can be used to get to the little smuggler's area I showed you. Uh, there's a little bookshelf here um, with old Ninjago cards. That's an Easter egg because in the original Season 1 and Season 2, eh, Season 1 in the pilot, yeah, please move. Um, there were little collectible Ninjago cards that you could play a little game out of, so there are stuff in there. Um, and yeah, that is Ronan's Pawn Shop. Here's the ladder to get up to the second to the second level of that, which is, I assume, Ronan's house. I will show you that later. So here we go. And boom. Oh, yeah. So the next thing I will show you is this. This is the Temple Island. Um, there's little Lloyd, mini Lloyd, um, and this is like a little add-on 
on the set. This is the statue of Zane. He is the ninja of ice. Uh, in season three, he actually sacrifices himself at the end. And so they make a statue in his honor. In season four, though, he is resurrected and comes back, but this statue was never taken down. Um, and here's a little, like, temple pagoda area. So this just connects right here. Oh, oh my god, come on. Are you kidding me? Connect. Okay, there we go. That is connected. So here, this is the Ninjago fan's apartment. Here's the Ninjago fan herself making the bed. Uh, there's no actual way to get in. This is like a little Easter egg. Here, right there, this little mini build is actually the uh, Keeper's Village. And here is Catamaran Sea Battle, both sets from the latest wave, from the wave that was just about to come out at the time of the release of this set. Um, and... Uh, there are some little Easter egg things here. This, I think, is... What do you is mean by Easter egg? Easter egg is, like, in a set, like, little, like, small details that either, like, connect to something else not in the show or just, like, a little cool thing. I uh, hear this is a lava lamp, I think. Here's a little car, red car, I expect, for Kai. And, um... Yeah, uh, so yeah, that is the Ninjago fan's apartment. No, I will not slow down. This deserves every amount, every second of this video that it has. Okay, so this is, as I said before, Ronan's apartment. It has a little tea stuff. Never do Ronan drink, Ronan drunk tea. And there's a little plant in there. Um, it also has, if you can see, little paintings of stuff. Hmm, um, things that... Yeah, like locations in Ninjago, I would expect. So, yeah, there is that. Okay, there we go. Now here, here is, this is the first level walkway. Here we have multiple minifigs. This is Scoop, he is a cleaner robot. Scoop is amazing, I love Scoop. This guy, I don't remember his name. He's like a businessman, kind of. He's got his phone and his briefcase. And over here, over here, uh, oh yeah, there were, there were some signs. Here he's got his dog and he's got his phone. Okay, why is he not correctly holding his phone? I must fix this. Um, oh my god, okay. There we go. Um, and... Yeah, and here's the little tree. There's Ninjago 10th Anniversary. <coughs> Sorry, and then here is another little blue plane set for the Ninjago fans' apartment. This goes directly on top of it. And here's a trash can, so. Okay, put that on top a little bit. This one's a little bit tricky to place. Yeah, definitely a little bit tricky to place. Um, something fell off. What fell off? Oh, this thing. Yeah. Oh my God, that falls off like every two seconds. This minute. Okay. Sorry. Oh my God. This is so annoying. This is furious. you my viewers there we go okay that is finally fully connected um so yeah here here's what we got so far it already looks impressive at least to me um so yeah let us continue with shen's noodle house um this is this guy is chen he's just a sign right now we don't have a real minifig of chen here and there, you can see actually better from the window, there's a little pot on display, like a special pot maybe. Here, a little table with a bowl and like spices or something, little juice, little like sauces. Um, oh my god, there's a hair. Why do I keep getting hairs? Ah! I hate hairs. Okay, so I want to put this back in. Oh my god. 
It's like this is cursed or something. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Here on the back side, there's a little table. I don't know what this is for, just a table outside. Now, Chen here, he was actually the main antagonist of season four. He owned an evil noodle company. But now his daughter, Skylor, these days is taking up the shop and the family business and is doing great. So, yeah. And she's not evil. So, here we go. That goes. Okay, my God. Business man. And that goes right there. Now, the next one is the ice cream shop. Here's the little ice cream guy. It's got all the, like, the cones and the flavors uh, and little stuff on top. Um, here on the back, another cool little Easter egg is there's a little fallen ice cream. There's probably a very sad kid about that in the Lego world. Here the sign. I don't know what it translates. Let's stay a few seconds on it. Pause the video. Use the guide from earlier. Figure it out. Tell me. Um, here are some stairs. That, uh, those go up to a higher level that I will show soon. Well, oh, okay. And there's a little penguin thing. I need to point to stuff. Um, so that goes right here. And... Yeah, so our next level ah, is the biggest level by far, and that is the Ninjago Museum. Okay, you have got to be kidding me. Um, that is the Ninjago Museum of History, and the Ninjago Museum of History has appeared in multiple seasons and stuff. It is a recurring place in the show, and its wall keeps falling off, which is very, very annoying. This set is seriously cursed. Um, and yeah, as you could probably see, its wall can easily come off to reveal more easily the secrets inside. So here we have Karate Lady talking to Clutch Powers. Clutch Powers is a famous explorer who has a huge ego. Uh, here's a little snake staff and a model of the Destiny.